Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Thanks for watching. This will be episode number three of our door project, our cinema door project. I apologize in advance. This one was actually very hard to film, uh, both with the LED lighting coming in and out of focus with the camera and then the microphone. So I'm going to end up getting a uh, lapel mic for future because that would have been nice to have. Uh, but overall, I got a couple questions on this one. If you can watch it and comment, I got uh, whether we do smoke or clear or single stroke or double stroke. So it'll make sense if you watch the video. Appreciate your time. Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So working on our cinema door, episode number three here. Uh, I've already kind of played around with making this video. It's uh, ended up being a little bit of a challenge with the LED lighting and uh, all the different steps that I'm trying to go. But as you can see, I've got the backlit M here. It's looking pretty good. I think the camera's kind of showing it. So M is backlit. Let's see if I zoom in on it, what it does. Anyway, I've got the technique to get the light to glow real even and smooth across it. I've got the right acrylic, so I'll go over that in a second. Uh, a couple things I could use some comments on is the font we want to go with. So we've got what I'm calling a double stroke E. So that's where the blade is cutting it through. We ended up pulling this tab off. And then we would do the same feature with the plexiglass and the acrylic in there. And then we would set that E back on there with some little tabs. The bottom is just a much simpler process, just cut out. And then what we would end up doing on that is insetting this M just directly in with some clear. So on the back, we would use a frosted material, which is a, and it's a P95 acrylic is the exact term of what we're ordering. And then we would just do a standard acrylic on the front and so that would be how that would go in. Again, this would be inset in. And then we want to inset it in to where we have about a quarter inch reveal so we can kind of just softly round these corners. And then we'd end up painting that inside black. And we'd end up sliding that in and be pressure fit. So it'd give us a nice clean look. So again, that's the light at M. I'll show you here with the lights off in a second too. And then I had one other question or something I could use some comments on. So I found this smoke gray material, which I think will look much better against the wood. So for example, I've got some cabinets in here in our old two channel room. So there you've got the smoke gray up against that, or you just got the clear. So I'm leaning towards the smoke gray because it lets the light through about the same. It may dim it down to maybe 5%, but these are all gonna be on dimmers anyway, so I can crank up the light output and again that's going to get inset in there so with the walnut wood and then the black inset paint and then that I think it's going to give us a nice look when it's turned off all right let me uh, kick the lights off see if this camera is going to focus in on this I don't know how it's going to do so again that's the lighted M so that kind of gives you the single stroke and what's kind of cool here is I'm not going to switch the LED out but and uh, move that sample board up but you can kind of see how the E is lit up as well so it kind of gives us a nice even look so those are our two options double stroke on top single on the bottom I can tell you right now the bottom in person definitely has a nice clean even glow to it and then the E on the top is real faded so that's our options there and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause this and I'll... all right so I kicked the lights back on I'm going to do my best to try to show you how I've done this but what I've got going on here is the same LED light. I've edge wrapped it all the way around the inside of that. And you can imagine that would be cased inside a piece of wood. We might even throw it in some aluminum channel. And I don't know how this thing's gonna zoom in, but it's got a super smooth, 100% even surface on it, no matter what color we do. And then again, we would throw that acrylic on the front of it and that gets kind of layer it. So we have no, no spots or any of that bleeding through. And I'll try to do it with the lights off again so you can kind of see it. So it's kind of hard to focus in on this. I think it's just the extra lights, but you can tell that it's super duper smooth. Let's see if it focuses in. Yeah, it won't, it won't do it, but I can tell you just by looking at it, it's really nice even look using that frosted material. And then the one thing I want to try to show you is the reason we're edge lighting it instead of doing it from the just backlighting it. 
Okay, so see if I can get this to work. I think I can. Yeah, so you can see how it's got spots on it if I just put the material right up next to it. If I pull it away, you can see how they just match. It's nice and smooth. The problem is I'm two inches out, so that would end up turning my door roughly two inches extra thick. I'd be like three and a half inch thick door. And of course I don't want the spots. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go up with a nice smooth edge lid on it. The frosted material, I can just order it. So no issues there. And then the other reason on that, originally I was gonna do a full sheet good material for American Lighting. That ended up being about $500 a sheet times three. So it would have been $1,500 in LED lighting to backlight that. However, it was spotless at about a half an inch, so it did work as far as my specs go. But I think buying a $50 chunk of LED strip, of course, it's going to be RGBW. It's lower wattage, so I don't have to worry about my transfer hinge. And then I'll edge wrap it around. It gives us this nice smooth look. And then we'll cut it in. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I think the next step on this is going to be to have uh, the guy that's doing all the CNC cutting for me. I'm going to probably order my first sheet of final good material. I'll cut the door to size, and then I'll use the leftover strip to have him cut probably two M's out. So I can try the smoke material and I can try the double stroke versus single stroke, but still love to have your guys' input on it. Um, no really other updates on the uh, theater room. We're uh, getting close to having the lobby complete. It is actually already drywalled, so that thing's moving super quick. I would say by the end of the month, the lobby will have uh, tile and paint in it and be uh, ready to get the store installed so we can move on to the theater. All right, thanks a lot.